Welcome to In My Opinion for Malicious. In Malicious, you play as a spirit vessel, and it's your job to take down the keepers. There is a backstory that sets all this up. It's just all in text. However, it's an interesting read. Besides that, you don't get much else plot-wise. Malicious is an action game. You have the option to be male or female, though from what I can gather, it's more of a cosmetic thing, and you have a choice between easy or normal. You have three continues from start, and if you are killed during the level, using them will pop you right back into the fight. Yes, thankfully, you don't have to start from square one if you don't feel like it. The game has a flavor of Mega Man in that there are five bosses and you can tackle them in any order you please. These fights are all timed, but it never feels like you're being rushed since you're given more than enough time to defeat them. Upon defeating each boss, you get new abilities and weapons, such as spears and a big old sword. However, after each boss you beat, the next one will get stronger, as in more health and more units on the map. Each stage gets right to the boss fight, though of course they have minions to protect them and annoy you. Each boss has two forms, the first being normal, but after taking some damage, the boss goes into serious mode and changes up their attacks. On the top left of your screen, that number you see, that's your aura. You gain aura by killing enemies and doing what's called a just guard. The aura has three uses to it. It can be used to enhance your attack by holding L1. You can use the aura release which has three levels to it, which grants an increase in attack and defense, but drains your aura pretty fast. The last use of it is repairing. Repairing is very important. Since you start to lose limbs the more you take damage, and you have to use a certain amount to heal yourself. The more damage you've taken, the higher the cost of aura. There is a counter system in the game. As long as you have the right ability and weapon, you can counter certain attacks from the bosses, which trigger these badass cutscenes. This takes some health from the boss and also stuns them, letting you duel out some punishment. Though it seems these are only performed once every fight. I guess they do this since it would decrease the difficulty of the game if you could just spam counters throughout the whole fight. The game's lock-on system can be pretty problematic at times. While it's easy to lock on the boss itself, it's a bit harder to lock on anything else. There were times where I locked on a grunt in front of me only for the game to lock on something in the air. It just left me baffled and annoyed. Even trying to manually lock on doesn't really help since that could be a pain in the ass as well. And the camera can be iffy at times adding to the annoyance. The game isn't completely ruined because of these issues, but it does hamper the overall experience. The game looks nice and sports a cell shaded look. The stages are nicely designed and don't come off as drab. Since the game does focus on boss fights, it would suck if they look boring and samey this is not the case here. Each boss looks different and fights differently from one another. You got a flying knight to a giant tank fortress thingy. Each boss also has its own little interest before the brawl. The framing for the game goes from smooth to almost a crawl, depending on how many grunts are on the field. So be prepared for some slow moments. Malicious is a good game. The game looks nice, and most of the boss fights are actually fun. Just sucks that the lock on system, camera problems, and sometimes chuggy frame rate hinders it. The game is pretty short as well. I beat it close to 2 hours. You are ranked after each stage, so you can try to shoot for the highest rank. There's also a free play mode in which you can play all the fights without the worry of continues. A score attack and a time attack mode as well. I hope you enjoy my thoughts on this game, and for gamer's sake, Keep gaming.